Are you curious about AWS, but you're not sure where to begin? Are you excited to enhance your tech skills and break into the cloud industry? Well, if so, an AWS certification could be your ticket to that journey. If you've landed on this video, you're probably gearing up for an AWS certification or at least considering taking one. Now, let's make something clear right off the bat. Earning an AWS certification isn't a walk in the park. It demands dedication and hard work especially if you're new to the tech world. Now, you might remember from my past videos that I managed to pass my Cloud Practitioner Foundational exam in just one week. And then I also passed my AWS Associate exam in the first attempt. Now, as I gear up for my AWS Solution Architecture Professional, I want to share with you my personal plan through the AWS certification process and lay out a beginner-friendly roadmap that you can follow too. Let's dive right into the AWS Cloud Certification certification world. Now remember, there's no one size fits all roadmap to achieving your AWS certifications. As you start on this AWS journey, you'll notice that there are a ton of certification options that AWS offers. So how do you navigate through this AWS maze? Now, firstly, there are four layers to AWS certifications, foundational, associate, professional, and speciality. All four layers consist of multiple choice questions. Some actually have hands-on labs as part of the exam, and the number of different questions vary depending on the layer. Before you decide on which layer to start on, it's important to evaluate your current knowledge and experience. If you're just dipping your toes into AWS, my suggestion is to start binge watching some videos that explain the basics of what is the cloud, why it's so crucial to learn, and why are businesses all moving to the cloud. These videos will fuel your enthusiasm for the exciting journey into the cloud, boosting your motivation and your curiosity to learn more. I've actually made a video Video where I explain in eight minutes what AWS Cloud is and the top AWS services. I'll link it in the description below so you can check it out after this video. A year ago, I decided to venture into the world of AWS certifications. Now, AWS is a big deal. It's the most popular cloud platform, and I knew that mastering AWS would lend me a lot of weight to my CV. So if you are completely new to cloud computing and AWS, then the AWS Cloud Practitioner Foundational Certification is a great stepping stone. It'll give you a solid grasp of AWS cloud computing basics. So this is a certification that I recommend you start with. This is also great to take if you have no technical background and this exam will cost you $100. Now, after successfully passing my cloud practitioner exam with a score of 811, I was eager to ride this wave and delve deeper into the world of AWS services. The cloud practitioner exam gives you a taste of what the individual AWS services can do. For instance, a snapshot of how AWS AWS EC2 delivers scalable computing power in the cloud, I spoke really fast there. All right, once you've got your cloud practitioner badge under your belt, it's time to aim higher. Your next stop is going to be the associate levels. The associate level exam is split into three certifications, solution architect associate, developer associate, and sysop admin associate. Now you might be wondering how long will it take to prepare for these exams? And the answer is that it varies, but I'll give you a rough idea in just a moment. Now about the sequence of the exams, this is not the exact route that you have to take, but it's very much a popular route that most people take. So you wanna go over the solution architect associate first, then your developer associate, and finally your sysop admin associate. But you might be wondering why in this order? Well, sysops is usually seen as the toughest associate level exam. So many people like to save that one for last. It also has a hands-on practical lab as part of the exam. And since all these associate exams have quite a bit of overlap, once you conquer one, you'll likely find it easier to take on the next one. The associate level exams will cost you $150. Now, after the AWS associate level, you actually have a choice on which route you want to take. You can go towards the AWS professional level certifications or towards the speciality ones. The professional level exams are a step up from the associate level exams and are more specific and challenging. You have to answer way more questions and the questions are also a lot longer. So you spend more time reading the questions and answers. Now, the good thing is that you do have 180 minutes to take this exam and it will cost you $300. The time it'll take to study for these 
exams. It's a little bit of a wild card. It really depends on your experience with AWS. So I won't be setting a timer for you here. But a slight word of caution, these are tough cookies. So I recommend clearing all the associate level exams first before venturing into your professional level exams. And finally, we reach a speciality certifications. These are for those who've mastered a specific domain in the AWS cloud universe. You could technically take these exams before the professional ones, but let me tell you, the speciality exams are also not a walk in the park. They demand a deeper understanding of an AWS domain and the AWS speciality exams will cost you $300. So what is my take? What is my advice for you guys? Get those associates and then the professional levels in your pocket before you dive into the speciality ones. Remember, there are countless ways to navigate the world of AWS certifications and it really does depend on your current experience and background. Perhaps you're more captivated by machine learning or data analytics. So you could start with the Solution Architect Associate Cert and then dive straight into machine learning speciality. There is just no one size fits all route. It all depends on your personal and professional ambitions. Now you might decide to aim for three, five, or even all 12 AWS certifications, but here is a word of caution. Don't get caught into the trap of spending too much time deciding which certification to study for. This could lead to a state of analysis paralysis where you just overthink instead of taking action. My golden nugget of advice is don't chase certifications, concentrate on building your skills because at the end of the day, it's the skills and knowledge you gain from the certifications that will shine in your technical interviews for roles like solution architect, cloud engineer, or any other AWS role that tickles your fancy. If you like this video, then you should check out my new and upcoming AWS series here. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.